Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. As you guys read, we are going to be previewing the brand new 2v2 mode as well as the Meltdown map. Probably going to do the Meltdown first. Maybe the 2v2 after. Maybe... I don't know, really, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go on. But anyway, as you guys can see, we are on the test server. So test server is basically, uh, or beta server, open live beta. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But anyway, it's a, a server where you guys can sign up for, but limited time. So I believe it is already a full right now. But anyway, we're going to be showing off so that you guys can see it for yourself for the first time. I believe a few YouTubers have already showed this, but I personally want to show it to you guys because... It's actually pretty hype. Meltdown is a very nice map. It's, I'm glad they're going to be bringing new maps as well at a 2v2 gameplay. So we'll do the quick 2v2. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't look like you can play it on... Um, you can only play on two maps. You can only play it on Kill House or on Cage. I was kind of low-key hoping that you can play it on Meltdown, but I guess it's kind of a big map, so you can't really play it on. But if you guys want to check, we'll show you guys Meltdown before we start. We'll go to... Uh, I think I would do hard point on meltdown, right? Meltdown, can we do hard point on meltdown? That'd be great. I don't think we can. I don't think it's available. So it's only team deathmatch. So you don't get much gameplay for it, but the art looks actually really nice. So I'm actually gonna, I wish there was um, domination in the uh, live beta, but meltdown is here. So uh, we'll be definitely checking that out. But I believe the gun game one should be interesting or gun game DM 2v2, which is similar to um, what they have in modern warfare. So let's go ahead and switch to that 2v2 and start right away so i'm actually super excited about this because uh, they have this in modern warfare is a 2v2 just uh, gunfights which is really nice uh from what i saw or played yesterday they have a lot of like no skin for some of the guns that are available um my wire is kind of this not too great so i might disconnect so i'm hoping that it doesn't so we're using the chicken first so it's actually really nice right now i i, I haven't really fixed my uh, my buttons so we'll see how that goes See where these guys are. I don't know if you play against real people. I hear him upstairs, I think. So there's no abilities. Oh, we got him there. Cool. So yeah, so it's basically you don't heal. Uh, it's exactly like the same thing. If it goes to a tie, you basically have to capture the flag in the end. So that's actually pretty neat. But let's go ahead and try out. So I believe there's a total of uh, six, 12 rounds. Can we get both? All right. So I don't know if these are real players at first. It's the public server, so I don't know if you're actually playing against real people or just against bots, just to test it out. We are using the RBP skin. So yeah, my button's layout, loadout is kind of scuffed, I believe, so. I am a crowd right now, so we'll see how that goes. Get those, those shots off right here. See where the other guy is. He's on my right, I think. I think he climbed up the stairs here. Oh, no, we're good, all right. Dan 230. Maybe we'll do a couple rounds of this because it's kind of easy. So yeah, my 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 um my buttons are not the best right now. I'm not gonna lie. I should have the the jump buttons on top. I usually play four finger claw, but it's really hard to play four finger claw with this with this recording. A little quick lasers there. Let's try to drop shot. I'm not can't drop shot using three finger claw. Personally, I'm sure you could probably do it regularly. What are we using here? The HG for a Loki kind of what? Okay, so we're. We're gonna like see if my opponent dies because I don't know if there's real players here. We got the headshot there. I think he's here somewhere. Oh, we lost audio. Awkward. Bring it back the audio. I'm trying to be very careful and not disconnect the wire. Oh, well, my teammate destroyed them. So it's actually pretty fun. It's gonna be a lot of interesting, like. Like, I, if this can go in custom games, do, like, YouTuber challenge, that'd be super cool, to be honest. But I don't actually even know if you can do this in um, 2v2 modes, like, custom games. I'm actually going to check what customs you can do in, you know, the private beta, see if it actually transfers into the non-private beta. Because I am a very mainly focused on custom games when I stream, in case you guys didn't know. If you guys do want to check me out on my stream, the Hitman Live. So we'll do another 2v2, just because it's pretty quick games, and I actually like that a lot. They're, like, super... Duper duper fast, so that's actually pretty cool. Go ahead and hit the back button. Try this again. And uh, we actually have some guns that we, we can try out. Like, for example, we have the LK uh, Royal Crimson. We got the Phobos. We actually have the Man of War, the New Year. So a bunch of cool skins. But there's no crates in the um, test servers right now. So we'll see. I believe this is the first time they brought the crates out or um, that they did the public server. 
on non Garena, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and play another 2v2. It should be instantly cute. Uh, hopefully, we play against. Oh, I, I believe that our first round should be against bots and second round against real people. So I'm trying to low key bring out the flag capture. Just like low key, just to bring it out. What are we using? Oh, we're using the Pharaoh. See, look, like I was saying, the Pharaoh. This is the Pharaoh that has no skin. So that's actually going to be really neat. It's basically like a chicken. Very close, except it has a hollow sight, which I'm not a huge fan of. Look, lasers there. All right, we got those double kill right here. Looks like I got three kills, but uh, we only got two kills here. So yeah, they got the Pharaoh right here. So that's actually pretty neat. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Loki want to use a Pharaoh. And I, I wasn't playing when the game came out with the Pharaoh, so I didn't get to use it. Let me laser that guy. There you go. We got the Pharaoh. I'm hoping. I, I think there's also the Arctic in here. That is not the Arctic. The Locust in here that has no skin. I look. I'm gonna let my teammate die first, and then we'll, we'll show you guys the, ca the flag capture. Or I might just kill one first, and maybe my teammate. Ooh. What gun is this? All right, maybe my teammate, well, all right, my teammate killed him. All right, I don't know if those are real people or not, but this that was the uh, M4 LMG Crimson Vampire. So, so I thought sometimes they would have no skins, but I believe if you have no skin of the gun, it automatically gives you the no skin, or if you don't have the gun, it will give you the no skin, I believe. Come on. Oh, man, all right, I know this guy's here. I had a chance to let my teammate die. Well, we got that. Four out of six right now. So uh, we are using the HG. I low key just I want to die, just so that we can see more guns. So I'm low key gonna die and hopefully, actually I'm gonna let my teammate go first, see if he um, dies or anything. See what happens. I I just kind of don't want to clutch it. I'm hoping that my teammate. Nope. nope. Well, I guess my teammates. I hope he dies. Come on, come on, come on. I believe in you, other guy. I believe in you, oh man. Like, I'm like hoping. But anyway, if you do die, what happens is the, um, if you get the overtime, there's a flag that's usually in the middle and you have to cap it. Just like how you cap any other uh, points, but a little faster than that. You're gonna be on the right side, all right, cool. Come on. Come on, teammate. Oh man, I'm just low key trying to see it. But anyway, let's jump into a uh, game of a meltdown first, and then we'll try this maybe uh, afterwards again. Maybe do a couple game of meltdown. So yeah, obviously I think that guy's a bot. I wish you play against real people and you can show the flag capture. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty interesting. But I, again, I'm I'm hoping we we'll check first in custom games if this is available. Because if you can play this in customs, that'd be really sick. I honestly think I would enjoy that a lot playing like two v twos. Um, you know, like YouTubers against YouTubers or YouTubers against subs or, or just custom games in general, right? So I can play Meltdown in private. Okay, there's that. I can go Search and Destroy, Domination, Free For All, Gun Game. Doesn't look like there's 2v2. That'd be sick if they can do the 2v2. I would absolutely love it. But it's not available. So uh, honestly, let's just jump into a regular multiplayer game. All right, we're in Team Deathmatch. So it looks like we're on the other side of the thumbnail. But look how beautiful this map looks. Look at that giant, giant um, power plant. I actually want to go visit inside the shark arc. Yep, I saw that coming. Yep, that's kind of cool. That's a new uh, score streak that uh, we can take a look through. I actually forgot to equip it. But we'll see if I can actually uh, go to the... Get that kill right there. I kind of want to go to the power plant. I just want to take a look at it. It looks so nice. Oh, I see a guy right there. Kind of far. Recoil control is non-existent. I, I don't know why it didn't scope in automatically, but that's cool. Oh, because I hit the small button. That's right. All right. So uh, I, I don't know what the score is right now. This guy right here, I think. This is so bad. I cannot aim my shot to save my life. I just want to go inside the power plant. Where is the enemy? Switch back. Thank you. Unintentionally drop shotted. So yeah, this is one of the cooler entrances as well. This power plant, it's like, it's super tall, but like, there's nothing cool inside. But still, 
we get some kills with that. It's a nice cool map. I think it'll be really fun to do like a hide and seek on this map. A lot of my decisions are based on whether or not I can play custom games on that. It's it's big, but like But not like super big, you know what I'm saying? Don't have ghosts. I'll go through here as well. Let's check this building. So that's the power plant. On the left side, there's another building. Guy here. Shark RC is actually pretty good. It like shocks you. Nice. No bullets. Oh. Alright, so it seems like we real people. But yeah, map looks pretty good. Actually, I like I said, I want to go on the left side rather than the right side. And also my buttons are scuffed. Cause I didn't actually fix this loadout. Cause it is a different Ooh, there's a whole left side here. It could be pretty fun to like run around and stuff like that. That's actually pretty nice. Pretty nifty map. I know we took a fat out, but it looks really nice. Like I really love how the art looks. I love how it really looks like it just Aesthetically, it looks really nice. I just I'm happy that they added a medium-sized map rather than a bigger size map. Like they did add a small one, which was um, was, what's our name? Cage. Cage was a smaller map, which is nice. They bought these bigger ones. It's not as big as obviously Crash, but it's like a medium-sized map, which is actually pretty solid. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, honestly, pretty happy. Two v two should be really fun. They did bring out the actually. Let's just check out the um, the score streak, the RC. Basically, it shocks you, so I'm glad that you kind of got affected by the shock. You can see what it does, but if you check the score streak, um, we haven't unlocked it. Why do people have it and I don't? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's super. That's super cool. It's like 350, so if you ever try to get nukes, you might want to rotate, like, the shock RC, the UAV, and then 100 kilodrome, and you just get those fat, fast UAVs so you can UAV all the time. So just trying to get nukes, that's actually game-changing, in my opinion. But... It's really nice because you don't even have to move it. It might be a little more expensive, but being able to basically, if you're if you're running like a hard line, once you get three kills, you automatically get these three, and you can get like this one will help you get a nuke. I think I don't know if it finds anyone. I don't know how it really works. Would love to try it out, but still, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Everything looks pretty neat. I'm pretty happy about this. So um, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these two new added things i also added some new stuff in br and meltdown i uh, not meltdown and the score streak but uh we didn't really take a look at it i just want to focus mostly on the 2v2 and also the meltdown map the meltdown map looks absolutely amazing 2v2 should be really fun but it's not custom unfortunately but let me know in the comments below if you want to see my latest video it's gonna be on the right side of the screen and if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button i've been making videos on the daily all right i'm out see you guys next time kill it